Hey there, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to use your drop shadow tool in Corel Draw 2017. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to have some objects in front of you, anything you have on which you want to use your color eyedropper tool. So I am going to transform this, these three objects, but uh, you can see them too because the red ones are over them and they are the same colors. So convert this into this so this is a certificate background and which you can use to uh, create some certificates and anything you like so okay go to page 2 here is your first object as you can see the size of it and the uh, outlines are this so right here in the left side of your screen it is drop shader tool click on it drop shader tool and drag your uh, screen like this what this will do is create a drop shadow tool a drop shadow of your object which of which you have selected now you can increase its density like this make it uh, more darker or lighter like here so I'm going to go full dark and uh, you can also increase this shadow stretch by here you can stretch your shadow like this but I will select it to 0 into 50% and full density and you can also select different presets by, by clicking right here flat top right flat bottom right all of these are the different presets you can select so I, I have selected ctrl z for undo I have selected just a simple uh, drop shadow tool preset by manually and so make sure to select multiply right here and shadow feathering what this will do is blur the edges of the shadow like this I just which I just did okay now now we are coming to this object the lower object same thing here select the outlines and increase the density of the background same to the blue one same process and increase the density of this object too okay so the next thing you're going to do is select all and make a group and now make another copy of this by copying and pasting it like th like this drag this with left click and then press right click for shortcut copy now right here give the angle of 180 degree now what this will do is rotate the object okay now double click on the rectangle tool what we'll do is create a uh, create outline and box around the page outlines Just select and paste them here now you can place this place objects inside the frame by going to object power clip place inside frame oh yes exactly like this and now same thing with here object power clip place inside frame okay so this is a very cool and uh, nice looking background for your certificates like this which I just made made a copy okay so guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe for more videos